Okay, back on this. As in my program, sometimes folks come in and visit us, my friend George. Maybe we'll put him on njcampus.com. He's a lawyer, a corporate lawyer, that my friend George, he teaches, he's a CPA also. We might put him on for, um, he just said he might, we might put him on for some, like business law. The internet's really more applicable to that math classes, but we'll, we'll probably put George on there. He's a big time CPA, and he's gonna be on the board of directors, actually, in the state we're in here. So he's, but it's all about explaining it in English, and I think George can do that. All right, she makes it, she posts up the salary expense correctly in cash decrease, she did that. That was entry eight, credit, cash, debit, salary, expense, next entry. And these guys kept moving along without us here. Perform service on account and build customer for service provider. Okay, keyword perform. What accounts involved there, miss? I was uh, going to say service revenue. Correct answer. And accounts payable. Because it's on account. So they owe us or we owe them? They paid us, though, right? They didn't pay us yet. It was on account. So do they owe us or do we owe them? They owe us. They owe us. What's that called when they owe us? What's that called when they owe us? Account receivable. A slash R is beautiful. Just do A slash R, Michelle. Just say it's good. Just that's fine. Account receivable would be $400. Sorry. Usually in Mike's program, we do Atlantic City rules, which... Um, and service revenue, right? Yes. Yes, Mike speaking. 